morning everyone and welcome to Fort William. Hope you all enjoyed the episode last week. It was mint to get back racing and obviously taking the win four weeks after the shoulder dislocation was the icing on the cake. Three days on and we are up in Fort William ready for some testing. Josh, your second trip to Fort William. First yep. trip with the team. How are you this morning? Yeah, good man. Excited? Nice dry conditions at the moment, so yeah. hopefully it'll and stay And what are your dry. thoughts on last week, reflecting on your first race for the team? Yeah, it was good, learnt a lot and ready to smash it at the next one. Yeah, nice. Keep progressing. So we won't be racing Fort William here this year, but we've got a World Cup at Leo Gang kicking the season off in about five weeks. Everything we've done so far has been on quite short tracks. Obviously Fort William, really long, really rough, really fast, so it's good to get up here, get testing, get the bike set up for what are going to be the World Cup conditions. Well, two runs in, and as ever, Fort William is eye-opening. Only been riding short tracks, like I said, and I've had to change quite a lot from Sunday, just to give you an example. I'd changed the bike at Hamsley to make it roll faster. I've just tried a little bit more pressure in the fork, but I'm having to go up fork pressure. I've had to pull through so that my front end is higher, and then we've had to go up tire pressure to obviously protect the rims. I've also found that with the air shock, those first two runs, really having to go up pressure on what I'd normally use. Finally, the bike feels like it's sitting up on 250, but now I feel like I've lost control and grip on the patter. So, coil shock's in. Let's see if that feels a bit better. We've done two planners to do six, and the last two runs will be timed. One on the coil, one on the air. Elle's just sticking a big Betty in. Gonna also do some big Betty versus Magic Nary stuff this week, so lots to try. Josh, first two runs are in the bag. How's it feeling? Yeah, Seems it's like you're fun. I love this track. Yeah, it's hey, good to you and Rude the bike. Okay. Riding together. Yeah. Enjoying it, boys? Yeah, man, it's been sick. Yeah, nice so. and dry. Yeah, it's really not too bad, is it? So, uh, three laps on. Jumps. We're going to go and check the timing system's working, ready for this afternoon. So we've had two really good days, some good timing, some good testing. Bikes are running well. We're getting some conditioning on the hands and the arms. Five minute track. Look who's back in town. We're going back already. Bonjour, ça va? Hello. Back from France, mate. How's the training been? Yeah, tidy. Uh, got to test with the Common Cell boys as well. Got yeah, the rode bike. the Common Cell test track. How was that look, mint? Yeah, that track's insane. It's just yeah. like flat out the whole thing. Looks like you've been doing loads of riding, feeling fast? Yeah. Ready for this week? Nice, let's get you on the track and see how it goes. Good to have you back, bud. Yes, Fort William World Cup track. I'm Jack Redding following Dan Slack. Take it away, buddy. Let's go. Okay, we're both on timed runs. Just left him a couple of seconds, few bike lengths. We're gonna see if we can keep up. Top section is really fast. Only a few breaking points up here. It's all about being smooth. Entries, exits. Had a bit of rain and wind today. It's nice and grippy though. Wind. 
looks like I've got a little bit more exit speed than in there. Okay, coming to the first split. We'll be riding about a minute. This is the good stuff. That's the, one of the roughest bits. Cool little ravine there. It's rough, but it's all about flow. One pedal stroke. And two tricky corners now. Strong through there. I think I'm landing on a rock each time. This bit's rough. Important flat left. It's all flat but tricky. Things are fast. Straight to the wind. Very rough is our next split. Oh! We were wandered on there. That was only on his fourth run on our on his first day. But it's going well. I shall see it makes no difference. Then again, I'm going to get up a little bit. Scrub off there, set up the corners. Now we're going into the woods. Stay nice and loose here. The breaking points. Oh, down this fast there. Jesus Christ, that one was quick there. He's really good on the tech stuff. And he's just illustrated that. Definitely pulled a bike and on me through there. I wasn't expecting that. I've been faster than him so far, this run and holding back. But he's absolutely done me in those turns. Can't get time back, it's gone. I've still got to ride my line. We might pull him in, we might not, but time's gone. Got a wide there. I've got that nice couple of big cranks. Let's see if we gain. That was the last breaking point on the track done. It was a really important corner. I think I've just pulled in a little bit. Now I am more powerful than Dan. So let's see what happens here. Yeah, here we go. Coming back at him. But we obviously wouldn't have in a race. So this is a bit of there. Yes, boy. Yeah. Nice. Well, day five, last day on the hill. Been riding yesterday, haven't we, Dan? Yeah. Getting you up to speed. So. How are you feeling? Yeah, good. Ready to go a bit quicker today. Yeah, ready to wind it on. We've had a bit of rain, haven't we? So the track conditions are grippy. Yeah, no wind either. Yeah, we're hoping the wind's going to stay nice and low today. Bike's feeling good? Yeah, just uh, testing shocks again and different tyres. Yeah. You're, yeah. On the, you're on the magic today. You've been trying the big Betty. Both are running good, aren't they? Yeah, I'm liking them both. So I did my fastest time yesterday on the Mary. Yeah. And I've stuck to the coil shock all day yesterday, but I'm going to try the air today. So the free lap timing stuff's out. Um, my shoulder is feeling a bit delicate after five days, so I'm just going to be finding some nice flow and just kind of riding at a nice speed and seeing how it is. Good boy. 
this man's ready to wind it on. Obviously, he's fully fit and fighting, so he's ready to go as fast as he can today. What, have you got a time in mind of what you want to aim for, or? Around a 4.40. Nice, sounds sensible for a, a testing trip. Did a 4.44 yesterday. Yeah, nice. So definitely some time there. Yeah, man, cool. Have we been keeping you busy enough, mate? Oh, always, mate. Never a dull moment, is there? No, no. Always something to do. Yeah, we've been smashing through uh, the bikes and Elle's been working flat out, keeping them running for us, so cheers, bud. My pleasure, mate. Rocky Hall Fort William, he's always tough on the bikes. Yeah. Yeah, man. Oh, God, here he is. How are you getting on, sir? Good. Hopefully find some pace today. Bit of a couple fast full runs. Yeah, okay. Yeah, last day, so let's see what you can do. In the gate, ready for his last time run. Ready to wind it on. Let's go. Yes, boy. A window in the weather. Ready to send it. Go on, lad. The boy. Boy. What a great trip to Fort William. Really good to be back on the bikes there. We only lost one day to wind and rain and we still got out and did some sectioning. Great to have Dan back in the country and us two to be riding together, both on pretty much exactly the same pace. I did a 4.39 on my second run on the fifth day. Real smooth, real nice. Riding quite smart because of my shoulder and ultimately it's making me faster. So yeah, can't complain about that and really pleased with the way I'm riding. Dan was matching me. Actually, he did two runs where on the third split, he was 0.4 in front of me. And then on the next one, fourth split, he was 0.5 in front of me. Both those runs, he had mechanical problems, so he didn't actually finish the run to get a time. But if he could have stuck with me on the motorway, not sure if he would have done down. My motorway split was pretty strong. But anyway, he would have certainly been around that 4.39 mark as well. So we're both feeling good and excited to get racing. Josh's first trip to Fort William with the team, his second time there. He's managed to do loads of full runs over the four days of uplifting. Really impressed us with how kind of fit he was and how strong he was. And he's managed to get his time down to a 5.04. And for a youth, that's really good. He's got lots of things to be working on in the coming weeks, but ultimately he's riding really well. And we're excited to see him at some more races. Big thanks to Elliot for grafting on the bikes all week. My Gareth Daly's been taking photos for us all week up there. Got some absolute bangers, as always. And then we've also had Ruben and his family there who've helped us out and we've all been working as a bit of a team. So yeah, cheers everyone. It's been a good week up at Fort William. Me and Dan are gambling and we're going to Portugal on the 23rd. Now Portugal's on the green list. Everything's still a little bit vague, but we decided that the flights were cheap and the timing was good. So we're getting out there for five days to see my mate Mark of Trail Tools. I'm actually going to be basing the One Vision Mountain Bike Gravity School in Portugal for the winter. So we're going out there partly to train and partly to do some prep work ready for when we set up there to give you guys some training camps over the winter where you can come out and do your timing and do your testing on your bikes and do your skills work in some nice weather on some awesome tracks. So we'll check back in with you when we're in Portugal. Hopefully they let us on the plane. Nice one. Brought to you by Jack Rain.